Welcome, welcome, welcome to Uncensored Friday Live. Today, a different Uncensored Friday. As you can see, I'm in my, my hometown of Bedi Akonkrum in the Hafwanu region, you know. Um, my name is Nanapoko Hitfield, ordained Crown Prince of Ghana. And today I came back, I came back to my hometown to see what it is, um, what I left. Now, I've not been a good Ghanaian don, you know. Um, I've visited my hometown just once. This is my second time. And um, having lived in Accra for so long and part in Australia, I just came back to see what is going on in my hometown. And it is mouth-watering to see the things, the natural resources being taken from our land. Now, all of this used to be forest, man. Now you can see charcoal. If you can hear wood, cutting of wood, timbers, and being sent to Accra. So this is where Ghana has, what, is, what Ghana has become. And this is what Africa has become, you know, where our natural resources don't even belong to, to, to us anymore, you know. We have schools here that, that don't have chairs in them. And yet look at the woods. And this is just one of many, 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 many um, sawmills in my hometown now. And as our day crowd prints, these are the things we need to stop doing, you know. So let us talk about Manchester United and uh, Manchester United. Yes, sir. So this is a guard. Say hi. Apparently, he is the forest guard for here, man. But, you know, in Ghana, <laughs> it, is, it is an eyesore. It is an eyesore to see forest being taken down. Deforestation of the land. And, and this is what the world will show you, what Africa has become. A place where our resources are being taken day in, day out. But then they will show you this. No, 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 no. Look at this. This used to be forest. I used to stand under this tree. And this time I came around. Look at this big tree right there. Look at it. You can hear saw mills inside. Cutting of the trees. So let's talk about Manchester United and let's talk about Marcel Sabitza. Marcel, Marcel Sabitza, you know, he deadline day, him and Vald Vegas for Manchester United for the January transfer window. Although it's not, sorry for the sounds you may hear, as I said, I'm on the roadside, you know. Sorry for the sounds you may hear. Okay, thank God there is a car passing with timber. Have a look at it. Look at that. Can you see the locks? Now, this happens virtually every two minutes. This is what I'm talking about. And this is what the world will show the You know, as our then crown prince, this is the, one of the things we are going to stop doing. Giving our natural resources. We, we won't sell our natural resources anymore. We are going to add value to our own natural resources for the benefit of the Ghanaian, for the benefit of the next generation. And when we've kicked democracy and its stupidity and everything that comes along with it, Africa, Ghana, will become what it's supposed to be. I'm about to cry, man. As the ordained crown prince, when I see these things, what can I do? I don't know, tell my people, tell my people, just stop this. Marcos Gavi once said, a race that doesn't respect itself automatically forfeits the race of other, the respect of other races. If you don't respect yourself, how do you expect others to respect you? This is what my country has become. This is what Africa has become, you know. So let's talk about Manchester United. I don't want to talk about, it's, it's the ordained crown prince in me that keeps dragging me to this, man. I want to talk about Manchester United and yet, it's just Manchester, I keep talking about Ghana, man. So let's talk about Mason Greenwood. Let's talk about Mason Greenwood. Now Mason Greenwood, the charges has been dropped and I love it as a Manchester United fan. But yet, I don't know why people are trying to make a fuss out of it. 
let us respect our systems and if the systems especially those in the uk is that work are saying and new evidence came to light and the charges have been dropped why is public why what is the public opinion about it if we respect our systems let us let them work if they work like they should we shouldn't have problems like that right so mason greenwood hopefully manchester united can give him something of a chance you know we all deserve second chances in our lives and um i'm no different i've made my mistakes so have you you know and hopefully he learns from this ordeal and comes back stronger but i'm just imagining amazing greenwood and direct ten hag man charlie premier league defend defense you for their guard an angry a new rejuvenated mason greenwood charlie a rejuvenated mason greenwood oh man nobody nobody uh, the way we score people eh? i swear charlie today i wanted to talk about manchester united alone but the things you can't just unsee these things and as the ordained crown prince of ghana when i see these things now the chief is my cousin i came and i, I he 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 doesn't live here or probably i was told he has left for accra when i get back to accra i need to see him we need to talk about everything here i'm going to start from my hometown when ghana sees what i've done with my own hometown i think i think they will understand what i mean when i talk about empowering one another they will know what i mean when i talk about let us use the pan-african system the same system that was started by osaji for dr kwame Nkrumah. and i stand in the same authority and even a maya a much higher version of it because i've learned more you know and we are going to move our countries forward as Ghanaians, as africans and as and as humans in general you know we live in a global village nana poku hitfield although i am the ordained crown prince of ghana i consider myself the global citizen you know the things that unite the youth of today is more than the things that divide us so why do we think about religion why do we think about tribes why do we even look at somebody by the color we are spirits in the human bodies what if if you are european and you come back again and you are africa and you are born in africa and you are african Hey, is that a snake? Oh man, I just heard some. <laughs> what if you come back as an African? So these are school children. Yeah. The whole school. Um, say hi. <laughs> okay. So well, let us continue. So I'm talking about the fact that this is what we, we have reduced ourselves to be you know systems that keeps dividing us systems that that doesn't promote unity and those are the systems the new african the new ghanaian the new nigerian the youth of our nation we are rising up in a way and we are seeing that those systems are slavery in another form so we put our religion aside now i'm talking about manchester united now and you might be in china you might be across africa and you love Manchester United. So although you are not, you don't even care. We meet all the time. I have so many friends across the world and I meet these people. We talk about Manchester United. We forget about our skin color, our religion and everything. And we need more of these things in order to move us in the right direction. So I'm back here. And as I said, this is just one, just one of like thousand sawmills around here. And you think about if schools are under trees, what, what can you do? The same logs that are being sent away. So look at another track. Okay. This one doesn't have... Oh, okay. Look at the government car going. Yeah, these are the people. Yes. Meanwhile, there is a school right here. The school doesn't have chairs. But yet, you can see wood logged here, right? It is all over the place, right? Yeah. This is how a Ghanaian has become. But these are the things we need to change, man. We need to change these things. So, Mason Greenwood is back and I'm happy. And we are going to Wembley, man. 
Wembele, Wembele. Hey, Eric Ten Hag, eh? If we, oh man, I'm happy as a Manchester United fan to see somebody like Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United because standards are very important if you are going to help a group of people achieve an a aim, you know. So, thank you, Eric Ten Hag. For doing Manchester United that good, you know. I mean, sleepers. I mean, Chaluati, man. Ordain Crown Prince. I'm here working. Nobody even knows I'm the Ordain Crown Prince. And I feel fine. I get to be anywhere, man. But the work is still ongoing, as I told you guys. Um, we've been. Uh, um, I've been visiting so many chiefs. I want to show you guys the school I'm talking about. Chairman, yeah. So Manchester United, I just greeted a couple of people, you know. We, the young people of this world, we don't really, really care. So let me give a few shout outs to people watching. I'm in the village, man. This is my village. Bedi Akukro, man. It took me, I left Accra around 7.30 and I got here at 6 a.m. So do the math, man, almost 12 hours. <laughs> of traveling to your hometown, man. I'll show you a school that the roofing is even tattered, but yet the roots, the timber being taken from here is appalling. There are so many sawmills here, countless of them. So that is a school. Let me turn the camera, man. This is the school I'm talking about, man. Look at the school. Can you see? That old tattered building there. Yes, children are in there. Children are here learning. How is, how is this supposed? How can you change a generation when you put your own children under this? Look at this. This is a school building. And these same locks can build a log cabin home here. Can you see that? Okay. Okay, let me switch back the camera though. So, I hope you understand what I mean now. And, oh man, see you same time next week. I'll take a couple of pictures. Next week, um, the title of the show will be The African Man, The Present and The Future. That will be the topic that we will need to be discussing. The African Man, The Present and The Future. Where do we see ourselves in the next 30 years? Where do we see our children in the next 30 years? What do we want our children to become? So stay tuned next week and hopefully you can join. Look at a timber track waiting probably. You see? Yeah. Okay. See you same time next week. Bye-bye. My name is Nana Popo Hitsfield, ordained Crown Prince of Ghana, man. Charlie. See you same time next week. Bye.